Hello, hello everybody. It is Jackie from Pocket of Preschool and I wanted to show you the All About Birds and Chicks science unit. So this unit you can use for a bird theme or a chick theme. So let me show you all the things. So just like all of the other science unit, there are vocabulary cards with real photographs. There are many science table setups um, included. This one it has the All About Birds fact page. I love this. So it's a way for um, the adults and teachers in your classroom to read and teach the kiddos about bird facts. So it's kind of like a little cheat sheet for the teachers. There is a not bird and not a bird sort. These are on Velcro. And then we also have the um, cards that are kind of like a visual reminder of what they can do with the um, cubes. So they can measure the, the bird little animals, measure how long or how tall they are. And then there's also a bird, not a bird sort with the figures. And I printed out another set of these cards. There's also another visual for them to use the magnifying glass and um, look at the photographs or the, the animals more closely. There are also a ton of real photographs of birds included, a whole bunch of them. So they can look at those and they can actually measure and use the magnifying glass. Look at those. There's also a read aloud included. You can also print that smaller if your science center is smaller. There are discovery and journal pages. There's also a cover for that. And then there are pages with lines and without. There's parts of a robin or bird um, little poster. There's also pieces so you can make an anchor chart. I also love to laminate the pieces so I can pull them off and reuse them again the next year. And then there are also the bird, not a bird worksheet and the label it parts of a robin. So another thing that you can do or a science table setup you can do is all about eggs. So we have this great egg poster. There's a, this is a giant egg sort, but there's also the smaller sorts included in the worksheet. And there are real photographs of the eggs as well as you can put out um, the plastic eggs for them to sort. And then as an like ending activity to the unit, we have an anchor chart you can do all about birds and they can share all the things they've learned. And there is also a, a worksheet they can do as well. There's the journal cover. And then some more science table setups you can do are you can have ex be exploring all about feathers so they can measure the feathers. Here are some real photographs of the feathers and these are included as well so they can use those. And then we have up close of the different animals or the different birds up close with the feathers. So they could explore that. They could also explore the different kinds of beaks birds have using the different tools and try and pick up the different things just like a bird would with the different types of beaks. You could also make bird feeders, go on a backyard bird hunt and make binoculars. You could also set up your science table with um, for them to build a nest and you can put out little manipulatives for them to build a nest with. Um, and then there are these posters that are great and there's also um, a blueprint page and then you can put out like a real nest, but if you do, make sure you put it in a baggie and tape it closed because birds do carry lots of horrible, yucky diseases and we don't want our kids getting any of that. So tape it closed so they can examine it, but still see, be safe. And you can also do this build a nest with Play-Doh and like leaves and sticks and things, which would be really fun. And then just like all the other science unit, it does include a um, letter home to families and it has labels and then it has all of the pages with the real photographs of everything in action. So you can set that up. And then, like I said, we have all of the bird beaks, feathers, eggs that you can set up your science table around. I also included in this unit pieces. So you can also do this, you use this unit if you are hatching chicks in your classroom because you can put out the egg activities or the feather activities um, with as your chicks or you're waiting for your chicks to hatch. So we do have parts of a chicken. Um, we have the poster, the worksheet, and the anchor chart, just like the robin. We do have the chicken's um, anchor chart, kind of an end of unit study, as well as the worksheet. We have the note home. 
We also have Egg to Chick Discovery and Journal pages. We have the cheat sheet that I love. And then we have a, some really awesome posters of chicks, chickens, chicks hatching, chick to embryo. Look what it looks on the inside. And then we also have the life cycle of a chicken. So this one is on Velcro, so they can put it in order. And then we have the worksheet. And you can also make this, there's the anchor chart headers. You can also make this into a big anchor chart if you want. And then we also have the prompts for your chick to egg. And then we also have some vocabulary cards that are specific for chicken and egg. So if you want this unit, go ahead and grab it from the link. Um, it's also included in the giant science bundle. So if you own that, you own this too. So if you want to go grab it, hop over to my store and grab it and set up an amazing science center for your little learners.